lot to come out. Summer is starting for you. You're gonna have a great summer. Okay? Okay. All right, now go. Go have a great summer. Don't forget to come back and visit. I will. All right. Bye. Find a good book, read, get together with your friends, spend time with your family, and enjoy. Good luck with the summer. I have worked in District 200 for 31 years. Well, I came here in 1988-89. It was my first year, and that's when I took over as the boys' head track coach uh, at the beginning of that season. Uh, this is my 25th year here at Wheaton Warrenville South. So I've one year at Wheaton Central, um, yeah, and then 24 years here at Wheaton Warrenville South. So. I have a townhome in Aurora, and we just got done remodeling it, so that's where I'm going to be. We, we live on a really nice area. We have three acres, so our, we love our home, and uh, we're going to keep, my wife's going to keep working a few more years, um, and I have two new grandchildren, and they're nearby. My son's actually going off to med school, so kind of, we're going to kind of keep our home base. But the good thing is we can travel whenever we want. You know, in the fall when you guys are all sitting here in class, we're going to go somewhere. <laughs> in the winter, we'll go to the south, and in the spring, we'll go out west and all that. So. Uh, well, I've got a couple things that I'm working on. Uh, one is North Central College asked me to coach track and field there, so that's a pretty good possibility there. Um, with our fully automatic timing system that we have here, uh, there's another group that's out there that's asked me to kind of work on that as well. Um, and then hopefully get to babysit my granddaughter. Uh, no, I did not plan on moving anywhere in the Chicago land area. Uh, I to make some short trips, but I'm still going to be based out here in Chicago. Yes, I worked um, at another high school my first two years in the southern suburbs, and but other than that, my whole life has been teaching, and like I said, 31 years have been here. I came here. Yeah, I did. As I mentioned, I did. I was a cook, 
I worked as a waiter actually in room service in Chicago. I worked as a bank teller, all kinds of odd jobs. Did some construction for a couple of summers and that. Uh, but then I started teaching uh, actually when I was 27 in the fall of 82, 1982. And I started teaching elementary, middle school, and then elementary music. Took a year off to sing. And then I started at Wheaton Central in fall of 86, so 30 years ago. Wheaton Central, which then became Wheaton Orville South. I, uh, I actually coached at Naperville North for five years prior to here. Uh, I taught Washington, at Washington Junior High, I taught middle school science for four years. Uh, prior to that, I was uh, in school suspension supervisor at Naperville North for one year. And then um, I was also at uh, Downer South as an aide for my first year out of college. I, um, the, the, the five years before I got here, I was at Oak Park River Forest High School. A student taught there, and I worked there as an athletic trainer, so up there. And I went and worked for a sports medicine clinic for one year. And then I went back to the high school and worked at Percy High School in Arlington Heights. And from there I went to De La Salle High School, private school in the city of Chicago. And then I ended up at Wheaton Central. Have a great, happy sunshine summer. married in 2007 and I have a wonderful stepson who is now a sophomore in high school and when he was six years old my birthday was coming around so his dad said hey Parker what do you want to get Donna for her birthday and he said dad he goes we got to get her a lightsaber because he was really into Star Wars so they went to a toy store and he picked out these lightsabers and he was all excited and then he happened to see this giraffe and he remembered that my favorite animal in the whole wide world is a giraffe and so he said dad we gotta get her the giraffe so her name is bella and parker wanted me to bring her to school with me so bella has been living in g177 for the past nine years so that's bella Interestingly, I was also a girls head track coach my first year out of college. Um, so, but track and field's been in, the, in our family for a long, long time. Uh, my brother's the head coach at Wheaton North. Uh, my son is a head coach up in Wakanda. My father was a head track coach. So it's, you know, one of the things that's been in our family for a long time. Well, I will tell you this, one of the things that I am most thankful for is that I have worked with every type of student. I have been blessed to teach advanced classes, I have worked with middle of the road kids, and I have worked with kids that really struggle in school or maybe they don't like school. And I think having experiences with every type of kid has actually made me a better teacher. You just start to understand how people can learn in different ways. And not to be afraid of the differences. We all get there eventually. We just maybe need a different route. So it's been 
wonderful. And then if you look around my room, you can see that I did a lot of work with speech team and with theater for about 25 years. So I got to really know kids a lot through that. And some of those students um, I'm still in touch with. So it's kind of wonderful to watch people grow and then you become like adult friends and that's kind of cool. They're in a great building. People here are totally dedicated, not just to teaching whatever subject they might be in charge of, but we truly do care about the lives that you live and giving you every opportunity to become as well equipped as possible for when you leave. So you're in very, very good hands here and you're with a faculty that deeply cares about you on a lot of levels. So you're fortunate. Well, um, when I took over the position in 88, 89, um, Wheaton Central was, we were okay. I mean, eight schools in the conference, I think they were seventh or eighth most of the time, six or seven. Um, my goal was to just build a program that was going to be able to compete for a conference title. Um, you know, all the success that the boys track and field team has had since that time is really gone beyond whatever I thought we were going to be able to do. Um, you know, being able to not only have one conference title, but ten consecutive, and then uh, I think three or four others in addition to that uh, since that time, uh, plus all the state, you know, state championships and, and trophies that we've had that's been beyond anything I ever thought a program that I was ever going to coach was going to have. It, you know, there's very few. Oh, I'm going to always leave here with very fond memories. Teaching is a very humbling profession. Just when you think that you're starting to get the hang of it, you realize there's so much more to learn. I do want to send out some thank yous. I want to send a thank you for um, all the students who over the years have put up with me and who have taught me a great deal. My students have made me a better teacher, and I would absolutely like to thank my colleagues walking through the doors every day. I knew I was in a very supportive environment, and that it was okay to be perfectly imperfect, and I really appreciate that. It's been a lot of good memories. Uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, this is a really great place to work and a great place to come. Well, the one thing that I um, really think that's important uh, to students and student athletes is, is when, when something good happens here at the school. Uh, I think the hallways are a little bit different. Uh, I think the kids are a little nicer, uh, a little happier. Uh, when, you know, in classrooms and in the hallways, such as uh, winning a state championship or you know, winning an academic team or an activity does very well, uh, you know, whether it's statewide or, or nationwide, uh, I think that uh, that brings uh, the kindness out of, uh, of all of the students. That, that. So I hope that continues uh, as, as, you know, as years continue on. As I said, you know, you are a great example of what makes a school great. You guys that are involved in things like broadcast media, not just the core curriculum, but broadcast media, the arts, you can hear them next door playing, practicing. Athletics, we have kids in sports and in music and on stage. It's always been that way. You know, kids cross over and a lot of schools are segregated. You're in sports or you're in music or the arts. Here, it's like kids do both without any hesitation, open to new things and really accepting and kind, considerate. Uh, our, our student body is really unique. And I've had people from other high schools come and say that about our high school. So it's all about you guys. Well, I want to wish everyone in Tiger Nation a great summer. And for those of you who are moving on to uh, college and, and careers, I want to wish you well. And for those of you who will be coming back to us next August, have a great summer. And we look forward to your return, but not too soon.